guys, welcome back to the with SNM. If today happens to be the first time you're watching me, this is D with SNM. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share with your loved ones and friends, and please leave a comment in the comment section. So today, <laughs> today is going to be interesting because I did telling you why I am single. I hope you're ready to listen to the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Um. I will tell you the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> so one of the things I've actually realized is that in Ghana, whenever you put somebody or whenever you put it on your status, congratulating a friend, a colleague or a relative on their marriage, then people start asking you, when is yours coming on? When are we expecting yours? And I'm like, oh my god. Are you talking to me? Eh? No, no, no. Are you talking to me? But you the one asking me, especially the, when it's coming from those who are single, it's even annoying. Like, those who are not married, it's more annoying than everything. You're like, so you that you're asking me this question, you yourself, what have you done? Why are you not married yet? Please, even God is asking the angel, what did he just say? <laughs> and it's so frustrating. Like, sometimes eh, it's annoying because you are trying to wish somebody well, and somebody is like, yeah, by this time, it will be your thing. Hello, what is your problem? <laughs> this thing must stop. Please advise yourself. If you are one of the people who do that, advise yourself, including myself. Hey. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. Because <laughs> I'm also a victim of that. I'll definitely tell my friends, oh, you, I'm hoping you are next to life. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. But it is one of the things we, we find ourselves like doing more of it. It's not cool, guys. It's not cool. <laughs> one of the important decisions you can make after salvation is marriage. The reason being that it is your life. It's going to be the rest of your life. Most of us actually get the beauty of the whole wedding and not the marriage. The other time, I heard somebody saying that marriage is like rain a car, and I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And she explained herself. She said, if you want to rear a cow, when you rear the cow to an extent, it gives you milk, you get beef from it, you get leather from it, you get a lot of stuff from it. Then you still get dunk. That means it is not always rosy. And so you want to be very careful, be very particular when it comes to choosing a lifetime partner reasons being that it's called either make or unmake you and when you find yourself in a bad marriage it can affect every other aspect of your life people enter marriages and they don't leave to tell the story others find themselves in mental homes well, i'm not so sure anybody would want to get married only to you know get divorced nobody plans or wishes for that except of course those with ulterior motives because the world is a wicked one so what happens at what point do a lot of people get it wrong what causes all of these divorces so for now i'm going to share seven nuggets with we the single ones you know if i said single if you're in a relationship you're still single because you're not married if you are dating, you are still single. If you are courting, you are still single. <laughs> you are still single. If you are engaged, sorry, but you are still single. So until you are married, every single is a single. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> so yes, with that said, if you've not walked down the aisle yet as in traditional or church whatever yeah if you've not done that yet you are still single my bro my sis is still single so let's get it done now the first nugget is that don't marry because you are lonely 
if you marry somebody because you are lonely, trust me, you become alone. The reason being that loneliness is a state of mind. I could be right here to myself and wouldn't be lonely. And I could be right here to myself and I would be feeling lonely. Nobody feels the vacuum loneliness. Nobody does that. You do that to yourself. And so if you think somebody would come into your life just to fill that vacuum, you need a rethink. If the reason for you to get married or the reason why you want to get married is because you're feeling lonely, please go and watch movies. Go go and do some reading. Go and do some shopping. It would do you some good. Because mm? this loneliness you are talking about, if you bring this person in, you'll be shocked. Or you think the person don't have a life. Like the person don't have a life. So 24-7, the person will be around you. Hey. Sa. Please, please, please. <laughs> the second nugget for the honorable singles, including myself, is that don't get married because you got yourself pregnant or you impregnated somebody. Okay, some people they chop you even when they don't love you. Like, so if you find yourself in a situation whereby you got engaged with somebody you don't see yourself spending the rest of your entire life with that includes your financial life your dreams your aspirations your goals and everything you're sharing it with this one person and you got pregnant and so because of that you want to commit suicide it's a suicidal mission, I tell you. It's a suicidal mission. Don't get married because you got pregnant. Of course, the deal has already been done. And so what? Bear the consequences and move on. It's not the end of your life. Rather than spending five years trying to nurture a child, making the child grow, and you getting a life for yourself it is it is much better than you getting into a relationship with this person just because you impregnated a person or the person got pregnant the deed has already been done nobody's advising you to get pregnant before you get married but if perchance you get pregnant and the reason why you want to get married is because you are pregnant then you need everything Please, you just have to rethink about it because don't just think about the fact that people are going to say you got pregnant out of wedlock. Think about the fact that you're going to stay with this one person for the rest of your life. Are you ready for that? So my single friends out there, <laughs> another reason why you shouldn't rush into marriage is when you start feeling entitled it's it's easy to feel entitled you know when you start feeling like okay he's not giving me time like he used to we don't get to chat like we used to um i feel like a lot of things are you know taking his attention than i am and i am the boss chick you know <laughs> Like, um, we love each other too much, and I can't live without him or her. Please, don't feel entitled. If the reason why you want to get married to this dude is because you you want to feel entitled, yeah, I am. I am the one who got him at last. You need a deliverance. You definitely need one. Yeah. Shebi. God created him for you alone, Abby. Not in a negative or like a wrong moral aspect, but this is a person who belongs to a family. He has colleagues he works with and all of that. He has a life. He has friends. So where is this entitlement coming from? Hello? Family pressures also come to play when we talk about this whole marriage thing. We still have families who actually arrange marriages for their wards. It's not a bad thing. I mean, which um, parent would want his or her child to end up with a very bad person? Nobody wishes for that for their children. 
And so whatever reason they are, or whatever their intentions are, are of course a good one. With that said, you still don't have to be pressured into being in a relationship with whoever they want you to end up with. You need time to, you know, get to know this person, know how you people can actually build that kind of friendship, relate, and all of that before you finally make a decision. But when they start choking it on your throat that you need to marry this person by hook or crook, that is where the issue is. That is where the issue is. Because for the most part, probably you don't really like this person or you noticed a thing or two about this person. They don't know of, okay, because your family may be good, but you may be the black sheep in it. So they may not know that "Mm, this person's got some, you know, ugly characters up his sleeve and you are the only person who knows it. And they keep forcing you and forcing you and forcing you to. Please don't give in to such pressures. When you encounter with something like that, you really need to pray because you don't also want to disobey your parents. Give them reasons. Let them see beyond just what they know. Let give them proofs or evidence of what you actually mean, and I'm sure they will be able to, you know, bear with you and you know help you make a right decision moving forward. My dear single brothers and sisters in the Lord. Please, don't rush into marriage because you like the whole marriage idea. How? And I'm going to decorate the aisle. And my wedding gown is going to be 28 yards long. It's going to be a buffet. Like, I'm going to have like 1,000 guests. Um, It's going to be in a very huge ballroom. Please wake up. Hmm? Which story are you telling me right now? (laughs) If the only reason why you want to get married is because of all these things, go and get that wedding gown, get that ballroom, rock the gown, go to the ballroom, invite your friends and family, and have fun. And finally, don't get married because all your friends are getting married. Bro. I thought some of your friends are also dead, Anna. So why don't you say, all my friends are dead, I should also die. You've not been saying that, so do you remember? Uh Uh-huh. So please, don't also say all your friends are married and so you also have to get married. Don't get married because most of your friends are getting married. Charlie, eh? The level of stability you will enjoy in your marriage will depend on the depth of happiness you enjoy with your spouse, which does not come lightly. It comes with a lot of hard work. So you have to be prepared, like physically, mentally, financially, be prepared all around. And of course, it also wouldn't guarantee a 100% successful marriage. It is work, a day in, day out kind of a thing. So you should be ready to, you know, go in all out. Don't be swayed by how somebody else's marriage is blossoming and how they're having fun with their children and all of that, and then decide to enter into it. Because you may not know what they are facing. With that said, read books on marriages, like have ideas so that whatever decision you would make in the future, you would actually make an informed decision. Of course, nobody's experience is the same, like we don't have the same experiences because we are equally not the same, but at least to be for want is to be for prepared with that said thank you so much for making time to watch this video i appreciate it so much let me know what you also think in the comment section and please share with your loved ones and friends and subscribe until my next video don't forget to do you do you and do you bye bye